Good morning everybody, Dustin here, welcome back to the farm, and we are done combining, very thankful that that job is over, uh, it was a pretty good harvest overall, pretty smooth sailing for the most part, so I can't really complain, but I am thankful that that job is over, but there's lots more work to be done. Uh, today we are hauling some of our grain bags home, there's a little bit of storage at home so we are going to haul some wheat home today i've made a previous video of us uh, putting the grain in the bags from up north and we did that because it was such a long haul for our trucks they wouldn't have kept up so we have kind of grain bags all over the place so after harvest and before the snow starts flying it's a good time to get these grain bags cleaned up either hauled home if you have the available room or straight to the elevator if you can and get these cleaned up before the snow and before the deer and moose get into them and start ripping them apart so that's what we're doing today to take the grain out of the grain bags we use what's called the extractor I think it's really cool um, there's basically augers that go inside the bag and then um, it rolls up the bag at the same time it's attached to the tractor so I'll show you how we use that. takes it into the truck and then there's a knife on the front that cuts it and then these are the, the holes that the deer and the raccoons make. This is why you want to clean up these bags as soon as you can. There's wheat everywhere. Um, this isn't too bad. It gets bad when they start making holes along the sides and then it spills out. But there isn't any here, so it's actually pretty good. It doesn't take us very long to load a truck. It's really no different than a 10 inch auger. So then as the bagger is rolling backwards, the tractor is in neutral, the bagger pulls it along. And then the truck just slowly has to back up as well. We got all three trucks out here. So we'll load these up. Probably take just under an hour, I'd say, to load these trucks and we'll haul them home and unload it in our bins because we got a little bit of room. And we'll just keep chipping away at these bags. It's a good form of short term storage. It's a good time to do it here in the fall. Usually 
definitely try to plan the bags so when we're extracting the grain we're always facing either west or north because usually it's a northwest wind and that way it blows all the dust and chaff to the east so the so the chaff and the dust isn't isn't uh, close to the cab gets blown in the cows and the tractor so it stays clean. Into the third truck already. And look how far we've gone. You can see the stubbles all flattened in a different color. We've gone 60 feet already. The 300 foot bag, so a couple trips like this, and we'll get this thing cleaned up. So we have the auger set up into a 10,000 flat bottom bin. So this bag will more than fill this bin. This bag is 300 feet. So there's about 12 to 13,000 bushels in that bag. So it'll be more than enough to fill this bin then we'll put the rest in a smaller bin. But we're gonna unload these trucks and then we'll be back up there. Trucks are unloaded on our way back up to the grain bag. We're gonna keep chipping away at this for the day. I just wanted to share how that extractor works and how it takes the grain out of the bag and rolls up the bag and how we fill the trucks. I think that's pretty cool, so hopefully you do as well. I'm gonna keep chipping away at this. Should get most of it done today. Um, once the bag is done, the whole bag ends up on that roller and then you can either recycle that plastic or make a giant slip and slide. So maybe for a future video, I make a 300 foot slip and slide. I think that would be pretty sweet. So if you like the videos, please press the subscribe button and give it a thumbs up at the bottom of the screen. And I will see you guys next time.